Okay, in the last video, we got as far as creating, um, or rather opening, Scratch 3. And what we're going to have a go at doing today is starting to make a maze game. When the maze game is finished, we'll have a character, a sprite. At the moment, I've got uh, Scratch as my sprite. And so the sprite will be able to navigate a maze. And there will be certain objects I'll need to find, and certain objects I'll need to avoid. To make our own maze game today, we're going to do a few things. The first thing we're going to do is actually save it. So we're going to click on File. We're going to go to Save to your computer. We're going to go to OneDrive to make sure it's saved whichever computer we're on. And we're just going to call it Maze or Maze Game and press Save. Later on the lesson, if you want to save it again, you can do the same thing. I'll just click File, Save to your computer, go to OneDrive. But this time, you'll click on the one you already created and press Save. It asks you to replace it because you're replacing it with a new copy and press yes. You need to be a little bit careful with this one. Okay. This first session, what we're going to do is we're going to work on replacing the sprite. I like Scratch as a sprite, but we want to make our own. So we're going to click on the cross here to get rid of the sprite. At the bottom of the screen, you've got two pictures. You've got this one, which creates sprites, so it looks like a cat. And you've got this one on the right that allows you to make a backdrop. We don't want to do a backdrop yet. We want to do a sprite. So we're going to go to choose a sprite. And we're going to click on paint because you need to draw this one yourself. Okay. You'll see it opens a box here and it says costumes. If I make a mistake and I click here and click on paint, okay, you'll see it opens the same kind of box, but it says backdrop. So we don't want this one. We want this one that says costumes. Now, it doesn't really matter which sprite you make. You need to be able to navigate around. Amazing, you need to be able to collect things. So a person might be a good person, a good uh, sprite, an object that can move, so a robot. But I'm going to go for an animal. So I'm going to use a crocodile. Okay, because we've just been reading the enormous crocodile. I'm choosing a fill color. I'm choosing a paintbrush. I can make my paintbrush a bit wider or a bit narrower, but I'm okay with this one. And I'm going to draw my crocodile like this. And I'm not too worried as I do this about how detailed it is because when I'm finished, I'm going to make this crocodile a lot smaller. So you'll see at the moment it's looking quite big. Okay, so here we go. We'll give it some teeth. Not sure why he's got green teeth. Give him some legs, big belly because he's eating lots of children. And we'll go around there. And we'll even give him a bit of an eye here. Okay. We then want to fill him. Now, if I click on any of the options here, want the fill option, we can either do here or we can convert to bitmap in order to fill it. If I fill here, you'll see all my lines, like the teeth and so on, disappear. So that's not very good. So I'm going to press back and click on fill. I'm just going to make it a little bit lighter. So his fill color isn't the same as his edge. I'm still on fill. I'm going to fill him now, and you can see we can see, still see the teeth. So I've got a crocodile. He's a bit big. We'll worry about that in a moment. But if I move my crocodile around, you'll see there's a problem with the eye. I can see through it. So I'm going to go back onto my paintbrush. I'm going to go to black. I'm going to give him part of his eye that's black. And then I'm going to go back to fill. I'm going to move this line right along so the brightness is really high. I move the saturation to really low so I get white. And I'm going to fill this space. It won't look any different here, really. But when I move my crocodile now, you'll see you can't see through his eye. He's a bit happier now. Okay, so I've got a crocodile. Now, my crocodile at the moment is called Sprite 1. And when later on we want to program it, that's going to be difficult. So Sprite 1 is going to get renamed as... Well, you can choose. I'm going to call it Enormous Crocodile. Okay, so he's got a name now. He's also a bit big. When we make the maze later, we're going to want him to be a lot smaller. So I'm going to delete 100 and write 20. And I might need to change that later. So this is why we're not too worried about the detail, because the crocodile's not as busy as he was before. Okay. Now, as well as having the sprite, the sprite's got costume. So this costume is this picture. And in this picture, he's facing left. So we're going to rename this as left. And I want him to be able to turn around. So on my crocodile, I'm going to press with the right-hand mouse button, and I'm going to press Duplicate. Then I'm going to make sure I'm on the Vector option, so Convert to 
bitmap or convert to vector. I want to convert to vector. And I'm going to choose the arrow. It now gives me a choice to click flip horizontal, which turns my crocodile around. And I can change the name left to to right. So I've now got a crocodile who can face left and can face right. And when we start to make the maze, which will be the next thing we do, we'll now have a crocodile that can start to actually navigate that maze. So very quick reminder, we started by making a sprite. We've named the sprite. We've drawn the sprite. We changed the size of the sprite. And we've given it a left and right costume that we can use in the game. That's quite a lot of things we've done. So we're going to click File, Save to your computer again, go back to OneDrive, go back to the same game, and press Save. Do I want to replace it? Yes, so I don't lose what I've done already. Okay, and that's where I'm going to stop for this video.